Hey guys, Hybrid Tour Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Ala Secura from Attack of the Clones, a figure that has been waited for in the line for literally years. Um, looking really cool in the box here, I'm super excited about it. Uh, it came in stock early at Zavi.com. Um, they currently, as of time of recording, which is like December 20th, I think, or 18th, um, at time of recording, they are in stock at Zavi with the Grand Inquisitor and the Clone Wars Darth Maul. Those two came in stock a little after this. I just ordered them the other day. But yeah, uh, go check out Zavi.com. Apparently they're where this is going to be hitting first. Um, apparently even if you're shopping at Zavi US, they still ship out of the UK. So it took about 10 days to get here. But it's really not bad. And that's 10 days during holiday season. So like that's that's pretty good. I'm not in any way upset about that. Anyway, she looks amazing. Let's open her up take a look at what we're getting here. You guys know the drill. As always, you start by taking a look at the packaging. It is your standard, for now, Black Series packaging with your Black Series logo up top. Last wave featuring a big window showing her and her accessory off nicely. You got Star Wars Attack of the Clones cross front. Ayla Sakura Warning 4 Plus Hasbro. This side of the box features really cool artwork of Ayla standing in front of a Geonosis backdrop of like the droid spear about to raise up out of the ground. Looking really cool. You got some clones running behind her. There's actually some really, like, exceptionally nice artwork. These side of the box arts always look good, but like, it's like even really good by a lot of standard ones before. This side of the box features your wraparound window, wraparound stripe, Black Series logo down below. Some zoomed in look at her art on the back. You got your Black Series logo, Ayla. You got a bio about her in varying languages. You can pause and read whichever language best suits you. She's number three in the Attack of the Clones lineup. You got a bunch of legalese, Disney, Hasbro, barcode, more legalese. Top of the box features your hanger tab and a little window, which allows some light in from the top. Let's your figure pop a little bit more in the package if you display in box. I'm not a loser. I open my toys. So let's go ahead and open her up and take a look at what we're getting here. So here's Ayla out of the package. As always, I'm going to start by taking a look at her accessories. Being a prequel Jedi, there's not really much they could give her besides her lightsaber, so I am glad it's included. It's a perfect match. Um, I really like the blue, actually, that they've picked for this one. It's a very nice transparent color, but it's not crystal clear see-through. It's not super pale. It's a very nice, just solid blue. I mean, it looks like a good blue lightsaber. Looking down at the hilt, it is one of the more generic prequel Jedi hilts. Uh, features a tiny little bit of paint on like a gold button there. Otherwise, it's a very nice chrome silver. It does catch the nut, the light very nicely. Um, it features a peg for her belt. I believe this helped to be at least retooled reuse from General Grievous. He used the that figure comes with a lot of the kind of more generic prequel Jedi hilts. If you see some of the behind the scenes featurettes, they basically came up with like three or four handles, and then you know just cast a bunch of them and said, all right, here, you know, prequel Jedi, just take one. So you see a lot of repetition, like how Kit Fisto and Plo Koon, I'm sorry, uh, not Kit Fisto, but Luminara and Dooley and Plo Koon kind of feature like the same hilts, just with some different paint here and there. So something to note, but it's been retooled because it has a belt peg, which none of Grievous's hilts did. It features that very standard pop the blade out function. She has a peg hole on the belt. You can peg the hilt in. And as you see, it hangs rather nicely there. It stays off of her leg. The belt's kind of like a thicker rubber, so it makes it just sort of float a little bit. But it does look the part, I gotta say. Um, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that, like, she's a Jedi and I want her swinging her lightsaber, this is one of the better-looking belt-carrying Jedi, I gotta say. So, looking at Ayla. Let's bring her in. Just adjust the camera back a little bit. Man, this is this is a beautiful figure. I'm going to try and keep my uh, feelings about a piece of plastic to myself here, but just a very beautiful likeness. Um, something I am noting is on camera. She seems to be like a very solid blue. She's sort of like a pale blue in person. It's very accurate in person, I'm seeing on camera, though. And I'm like, ooh, that's not that's not necessarily right. 
So something to note there. She's not Smurf blue. She's, you know, paler than that in person. But very beautiful likeness to the actress Sammy Allen. Um, nice sculpt work for the brown kind of like leather head straps with the ear cone things poking out and the straps going down. The, uh, oh, uh, Leku. You see, I know my Star Wars biology here. Working down the figure, she has her sort of like leather one-sleeved tube top. Bit of a unique taste, but hey, there you go. Um, something to note is, uh, you know, this shirt is like a rubber overlay. I was able to peel the shoulder back to see that there is a butterfly joint in there. When we get to articulation, you'll find out that they don't have a huge range, but they're nice. Um, so yeah, this is a rubber shirt over a plastic torso, so someone that has bro sculpted boobs, I mean, good on you, that's a good job. But, uh, you know, you have your blue arm there, you go down, you have, you know, there's a crop top, so you got your waist, of course. A brown leather-looking belt, sort of like a cod armor flap, as has been mentioned, the lightsaber peg hole. Another flap around back, gotta give her some modesty in this outfit after all, right? Definitely wasn't there to sell to a certain audience. You got these leather hanging tassels on either side of the belt. Um, everything that we've talked about so far has been new. So now we get to the reuse area. Apparently the legs and the upper part of the boots are reuse from um, Vice Admiral Holdo, which then got reused on Ayla Secura. Um, however, it does seem like there are new feet here that are pegged on. So that's nice. Um, one issue with the hip articulation, and I never noticed it on Holdo as bad, but Aura Singh was just terrible. I actually got rid of the figure because of how much it frustrated me, um, was that the, uh, you know, the construction, I mean, you know, let's look up the skirt here. You have like these balls on posts that stick into the tops of the thighs. Um, instead of it being like a barbell, you know, the ball, the ball in a straight line, they were kind of like a V post in between and it made it so you couldn't just swing the leg forward. You had to like swing it out to go up. And it was just terrible. But they fixed that to where even though it's leg reuse from some of the worst articulated legs in the line at the hip, they just go straight forward now. So there are no gripes here. It turns out really nice. So yeah, um, anyway, they are recolored to be basically like a burgundy red-brown pant with a kind of grayish brown for the boots. And as was mentioned, the uh, feet parts are new. So a lot of... Uh, a lot of new and a lot of retouch on this figure. Um, you know, when I first started hearing about the reuse of the legs, I was like, oh no, Ayla is going to be terrible. But no, actually in person, Ayla is really nice, I got to say. Let's go ahead and run through some articulation now. So I will say something that is kind of terrible is her head articulation. A lot of our new characters feature two points of articulation on the neck where, you know, inside the collar of their shirt, which she doesn't have, and that's why they didn't do it, there will be where the whole neck can move, and then you have a double ball at the top of the neck. Because her whole neck is exposed, they really couldn't do that without it looking ugly. I appreciate them keeping it nice and seamless, but anyway, what that does is it limits her head up movement to here. And a little bit of that is the head tails, but I mean, you can feel it. The joint is just stopping in there. She can only go that far down. You know, so I mean, there's basically no up and down. You get some good side to side and some amazing pivot. The uh, Leku are a very nice rubbery plastic, but there is a stiffness to them. So, you know, they would be in the way no matter what if we had that more desirable double ball system on the neck. But, like, I think we'd get more than this. Her arms can come up to a T-pose. There's a butterfly joint. You just don't get a crazy range of motion. But every little bit helps. She can 360 at the shoulder, of course. Single jointed elbows. Wrist can 360. Go up and down on the right hand and the left, two up and downs, that's good. Mid-torso ball joint, basically hidden under the shirt here, allows her to crunch that forward, that far back, which is really good. Got some awesome side-to-side -side and rotation. Her legs can kick that far out, they can go that far forward, not really back. What was that? Something popped, actually gave me a little bit more back. I don't know if I just broke something or... Yeah, no. Same on this side, I don't know if maybe something was just hung up there. That's scary. Upper thigh rotation, double jointed knees, they are the old school pinned system, that's okay, they actually don't really stand out too terribly bad. She has a boot cut, and then her feet can point straight down, Not like broken your ankle straight down, wow, um, really far forward, and there's forward facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get in some pretty decently wide stances with both feet flat on the ground. 
to do some comparisons, I think the obvious choice is to bring in Commander Bly, who stands maybe just a touch taller than her, though I feel that is accurate. How about an Imperial Stormtrooper, just because that's kind of like a really good standard height figure. And she's here, just from the wrong era, but I have her set aside. So how about the Mandalorian Ahsoka Tano? Man, isn't this just a whole motley crew? End of the day, what do I think of this Ayla Sakura figure? Man, it turned out really good. I gotta say, there are very little gripes, and honestly, of the gripes, I, they're not major. Is Ayla a pickup? I think absolutely yes. I think it'd be hard to pass on her. For starters, even if you didn't like the figure, I think we can all agree that we need more prequel Jedi, and buying even a bad one wouldn't be a terrible move, just to keep the idea in Hasbro's head that it's good. But, uh, I mean, this one turned out really good. The articulation's fun. Um, it's just a really good, just a really good figure, you know. That's a couple of gripes. It's not going to be figure of the year, I don't think. But it's not going to be too far from that list. And man, you know, I mean, just getting it in hand and getting it in some poses kind of puts me in a bit of a figure photography mood. I kind of want to take her and Bly out in the woods and just pose Bly shooting her in the back. But before we get there, I'm just excited to get her off of the stand and put her on the shelf. Not there. But, uh, no, <laughs> anyway. I mean, it's just a really good figure. Do I recommend it? Absolutely. I would argue that from this next wave, it is one of the must pickups. Um, it makes me just really excited for prequel Jedi to come. Now, Hasbro, come on, you pipelined him forever ago, but at the same time as Ayla... Where's Kiati Mundy? Come on, we gotta get him in the line. You know, we gotta get the big head boy. So, once we get him and Ayla, and we've got Kit Fisto and Plo Koon, you know, that really checks a lot of the Jedi off my personal list. But I'll take any of them. So, get to work, Hasbro. You've got figures to make. Um, thank you guys for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that in the video stuff. I'm going to go get to work on some other videos, so that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Till then, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye.